Scotland's accident and emergency departments failed to meet targets on waiting times set by the Scottish Government in the last three months of 2014. But the new figures show that the performance of major A&E units in Scotland was better than the rest of the UK. Our health editor Hugh Pym reports from Dundee. It's a heavy workload. The official accident and emergency target has been missed, but at some hospitals in Scotland there's a calmer atmosphere, including here at Nine Wells in Dundee. I'll let you see that bit. This special unit dealing with non-emergency cases, mainly referred directly by GPs, helps take the pressure off A&E, where more than 98% of patients are seen within four hours. Uh, the key things are having primary care, that's GPs, pharmacists, etc., engaged in seeing patients, having an efficient emergency department with senior doctors present, and having an efficient hospital. It's a big hospital in a major city, and it's a time of day when you'd expect accident and emergency to be busy. But here right now, things are pretty calm. One reflection of how successful the hospital is at managing the flow of patients. That's good news for Mark, who was sent to A&E by his GP after fainting the previous evening. But I'll be in and out here in an hour and a half, pretty much. Well, how do you feel about that? Excellent. The worst thing in the world is to be hanging about not knowing what's happening, so um, I've been kept informed the whole way along. At Scotland's major accident and emergency units, 90% of patients were seen within four hours over the three months to December. That was slightly ahead of the figure of just under 89% in comparable units in England. The figure for Wales was under 80%, and the number for Northern Ireland just over 75. But some like Catherine are far from happy. Her elderly mother had a very long wait before being admitted to the right ward in Glasgow. In the casualty itself, that was like 12, 13 hours waiting all that time. It was absolutely horrendous. There's people in trolleys outside toilets. Rising patient numbers and record hospital admissions, Scotland's health challenges reflect those across the UK. Hugh Pym, BBC News, Dundee. Now, if you thought the world's richest footballers were already paid more than enough, the world's richest football agent disagrees. George Mendes, the man behind a billion...